Do the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans mix? Absolutely not. I have told them not to. Oh, um, some. The answer is density. Density uh -huh. is the measure of mass present per unit volume. Uh. Lesser the density, lighter will be the object. Hmm. The Atlantic Ocean contains much more salt, as a result of which it is much denser. On the other hand, the water in the Pacific Ocean is less salty, hence its density is much lower. Now, this difference in density due to salinity creates a kind of barrier called a halocline between the two oceans. As a result, both the oceans don't mix that easily. Hmm. Why does soap make bubbles? No big deal. Om Sum's bubbles are the biggest. Oh, Om um, Sum. The answer lies in the chemistry of soap molecules. The two opposite ends of the soap molecules behave extremely differently. On one hand, there is an end known as the hydrophilic end. This end attracts water. While on the other hand, there is an end known as the hydrophobic end. This end repels water. Hmm. Now when we mix soap with water, these opposite ends of the soap molecules sandwich a thin layer of water between themselves. This basically leads to the creation of a thin film that contains a small amount of air. And this is what we call a bubble. Hmm. Can blind people dream? Not just blind people, even zombies can dream. Oh, I'm some. If a blind person lost his vision in the later stage of his life, then his brain would use visual information stored in his memories to create dreams. Now, if a blind person is blind since birth, then his brain has never received any visual information. Hmm. So instead, his dreams would get their content from memories of sound, smell, touch, etc., which he perceives in his everyday life. But in one science experiment, people who were blind since huh? birth were able to draw their dreams. Hmm. Why do we have a belly button? Nah. Om um Sum has just one button on his head. Oh, Om um Sum. When a baby is growing inside a mother's womb, it is not possible for the baby to eat food like us. The umbilical cord carries nutrients from the mother to the baby. Also, it takes away the waste which the baby does not need anymore. Now, when the baby is born, it does not need the umbilical cord anymore. Hence, the doctor cuts the umbilical cord, leaving behind a tiny stump. This stump falls off after a few weeks. This is how we get our belly button. What is monkeypox? Simple. Monkey and pox make monkeypox. Oh, I'm um, some. Monkeypox was discovered in 1958 when an outbreak of pox-like disease occurred in colonies of monkeys kept for research. The first human case of monkeypox was recorded in 1970. Hmm. Monkeypox virus is part of the same family of viruses as variola virus, the virus that causes smallpox. Huh? Its symptoms are similar to smallpox, but milder. Symptoms of monkeypox may include fever, headache, muscle aches, backache, chills, exhaustion, and a rash that looks like pimples or bristles. Also, monkeypox huh? is rarely fatal. Hmm. What are huh? boogers? I know, I know, they are my friends. Oh, um, some. In order to understand boogers, we need to first learn about mucus. Mucus is huh? the slimy, sticky substance which is produced by tissues in our nose, mouth, sinuses, throat, as well as our digestive tract. Hmm. Mucus helps catch harmful viruses, dirt, germs, and pollen, and thus protects our lungs. Hmm. Tiny hairs inside our nose called cilia move the mucus along with the trapped stuff towards the front of our nose. Now when we sneeze or blow our nose, the mucus comes out. If some mucus along with the debris remains in the nose, then it starts to dry out and clumps together and finally becomes a booger. Hmm. How tall can we grow? Simple. As tall as a giraffe. Oh, um some. The genes which we inherit from our parents will make us grow approximately as tall as our parents. Hmm. Also, factors like nutrition, physical health, hormones, etc. also affect our height. 
Now, if we grow taller huh? than what we are at present, then we would require much larger bones. Also, the amount of blood in our body would be more, thus making it hard for the heart to pump so much blood. Hmm. Why do we love junk food? No junk food. Only healthy food for Om Sum. Oh, Om Sum. We love junk food because manufacturers design it to activate our brain's reward system. They create the perfect combination of salt, sugar, spices, etc. <laughs> this excites our taste buds, thus activating our brain's reward system, making us feel good. Also, junk food doesn't have enough water and fiber. It doesn't fill us. So, we keep on eating, and thus we end up consuming more calories leading to obesity, diabetes, huh? etc. Hmm. Why is birds poop white in color? Simple. Because they keep on eating the clouds. Huh? Oh, um, some. Firstly, it is not the poop that is white. The green or brown part present in the center of the white portion is the actual poop of birds. The kidneys of birds don't produce huh? urine. Instead, <laughs> they excrete the nitrogenous waste as uric acid. This acid is the white portion. Now birds have only one exit point called cloaca. The poop from intestines, that is the green part, and the uric acid from kidneys are excreted at the same time. Hence, bird poop appears white. How do we puke? Simple, like this. Oh, um, some. Puking or vomiting is generally controlled by a part of the brain called area postrema. Now, when it instructs our stomach to purge, several things happen in our body. Firstly, huh? our teeth get coated with excess saliva to protect them from stomach acid. Our heart rate and breathing increases as we retch. Finally, the stomach and other abdominal muscles forcefully push the contents upwards and we puke. Hmm. Does an octopus huh? have nine brains? Nah, only Amsum has nine brains. Oh, Amsum. An octopus has a decentralized nervous system, with majority of its neurons residing in its arms. These neurons help the arms to independently taste, touch, and control basic motions without consulting the actual brain in its head. Thus, it gives an impression of having nine brains, when in reality, it only has one. Hmm. Why do we dream? We don't dream. Our brain dreams. Oh, awesome. One theory suggests that we dream to fulfill our wishes. It states that we are not able to express all our thoughts consciously. Hence, some of them find their way via dreams. Another theory called threat stimulation suggests that dreams are basically a defense mechanism. For example, nightmares put us in threatening situations, thus allowing us to practice our fight or flight response. Some people also believe that dreams don't really mean anything. Hmm.